we pay for during the course of our working lives. But will Social Security be there for future generations when they retire? Well, Congressman John wants to make sure this vital retirement security doesn't run out of money, and he joins me now to explain why we should all be concerned. So tell me the state of our Social Security at this point. Well, it's sound and secure, and I think you used the operative phrase. It's the insurance that people have paid for throughout their lifetime. And so that's why it's confounding to people when they hear it might not be there or that it should be cut or that your, your age should be extended in order for you to receive that. So we've introduced a bill, the Social Security 2100 Act, which both makes the program solvent into the next century, but also provides major relief, including a 10% across the board increase, a change in the way we calculate COLA for seniors so it actually takes into account their actual expenses that they incur, we make sure that nobody can retire into poverty by lifting the minimum rate that Social Security pays, and we provide a tax cut for 10 million working seniors. And we do that all by making sure that we both scrap the cap in a way that people making over $400,000 will pay a little bit extra more. They'll pay what a person making 30000 does. And then also, increasing the benefit, increasing what a person's contribution by 1%, but phasing that in over 25 years so that a person making $50,000, Jen, would pay 50 cents a week in order to make sure that Social Security, its retirement, its survivorship, and disability are intact for them and their family. So you've introduced this already Correct. to the House. We have Senator Blumenthal, who's also going to be taking part in this. That's right. Senator Blumenthal has introduced the companion bill in the Senate. And on St. Patrick's Day, I'm proud to say, <laughs> we introduced it in the House of Representatives. Okay. And so, you know, for people at home who are watching listening, sure. why should they individually care and support this? It, it does come at a cost, right? Well, it does come at a cost, but it's the insurance that they already paid for. In Washington, people have all too often referred to Social Security as an entitlement. People are entitled to Social Security because they've paid for it. It's the insurance that they have paid for. It's called FICA, the Federal Insurance Contribution Act. And so people have made contributions throughout their lifetimes. So now especially is not the time for people to have their benefits cut. We saw what happened after the Great Recession of 2008 when people's 401ks became 101ks. Social Security has never missed a payment and has always been there. Why? Because it has the full faith and credit and backing of the United States government and is funded directly by its people. Support for the bill so far? Tremendous. 56 co-sponsors to start. We anticipate that when we get back after the Easter recess that we're going to have more people signing up. And I think because of what the bill is a common sense, straightforward manner of dealing, this doesn't create a debt, doesn't create a deficit, and make sure that the benefits are there for individuals. Okay. Congressman.